Hey folks, how you doing? Ron Raymond here from the Raymond Report with your NHL playoff preview and prediction for Sunday, May 23rd. Hope you're having yourself a good start to your Sunday. As always, don't forget to subscribe to our channel by tapping that notification bell in the top right hand corner or hit the subscribe button below this video if you are using a mobile device. As always, today's podcast brought to you by HockeyPicks.com. Anybody can play, anybody can join, and you want to follow the top pickers right now at HockeyPicks.com. Z Roper, 844 points. Vela from Finland, 835. And Benji from Detroit at 798. And let's take a look who our hottest picker is right now. And there's Benji again at 12 and hole. Wow, Benji's really killing it. Dennis Tyler, 10 and 2. Harn at 9 and 3. And Nikki Bats. Nikki Bats, you can see him also here at uh, bballpicks.com. He's, uh, he's doing a good job uh, with his selections. You want to follow Nikki Bats in either basketball or hockey right now and uh, get his hockey selections today at hockeypicks.com. All right, let's get to the NHL games today. We've got four of them. Man, we got some really good basketball games, baseball games, and we got playoff hockey. What a great time. What a great time it is to be a sports fan. And uh, let's kick it off with the Nashville Predators taking on the Carolina Hurricanes. Now, the Canes going into this game with a 2-1 lead in the series. They're a 152 favorite here tonight, and they're actually 2.30 puck time, so it's afternoon game. And the over-under is set at 5.5. ATS forecast, computer pick, going to lean with the Canes in this one. 3.26 to 2.91, the over-under at 6.17. Looking at the chances of winning the game from a percentage point of view, 34% for the Carolina Hurricanes, 56 for the Nashville Predators. My line on this game was minus 185 for the Canes, so you're getting good value at 152. And I had the uh, Predators at 123, so fair market value for Nashville. And your Kogo today is at 43%, meaning a 57% chance of this game going under the total today in Nashville. St. Louis Blues facing elimination now. 3-0 lead for the Avs. Uh, coming off a 5-1 win and none of these games have been close. Avalanche uh, completely dominating the Blues right now. I think the Blues are a tired team right now. And uh, minus 233 is the number on Colorado. My number was 266. We got the Avs winning this one. 3.39, 3.18. The over-under at 6.57. From a percentage point uh, point of view, meaning you know which team has the best chance of getting back to 50%. 77% chance for St. Louis, 14% for the Avs, but they're on an eight-game win streak. I think it's close and light. Good night, Irene, today for the Blues. Boston taking on the Washington Capitals now. The uh, Capitals, you know what? Washington is just, I, um, I'm i trying to pinpoint what's going on with Washington, and I just, uh, I have a thing. In, in football, I call it the uh, the gas factor, the give a factor, right? And right now, I think Washington's gas factor is, you know, running on empty. I don't see any dedication. I don't see any player, um, you know, laying out, giving out, uh, being all in like the Boston Bruin players are, right? In the playoffs, if you're not all in, you're all out. And right now, Washington is looking like a team that no one wants to pay the price to go in the corners. And Ovechkin can't do it all. He's always all in. That's the only one who cares right now. And until more players in Washington buy in and want all in and have their gas factor up, Washington could be facing elimination today. Minus 135 for the Bruins. And the uh, the line I had was minus 141. And uh, the forecast, going to lean with Boston here. 2.96, 2.84. The over-under set at 5.8. And your Kogo at 59%. All right, Winnipeg Jets. Hey, what a what a story. They are a, a, an underdog. They're a 2-0 lead in the series. But this is where high market player uh, price plays, uh, players like McDavid, uh, dry sidle they take the headlines they also steal the money and the bookmakers know that they know the the bookmakers are gonna they're gonna you know it, the bookmakers know players are gonna say oh you know mcdavid's gonna turn it around today he's you know the, the, you can't you can't shut out the oilers two uh, three game times in a row you just don't know it's playoff times right minus 132 is the price for the oilers i had minus 151 so the uh the bookmakers are giving you a bit of a discount here and the over under at five and a half ats forecast computer pick gonna lean with the edmonton oilers 2.96, 2.72, the over-under at 5.68. Looking at the chance of winning does favor the Oilers here at 70%, but that's because they're on a three-game losing streak, where uh, Winnipeg now on a four-game win streak. Just how times have changed, right? Two weeks ago, they were de- you know dead at the side of the road, and here they are two games away from uh, sweeping the series, but that's playoff hockey, right? And John Cooper, if you didn't see that interview of John Cooper yesterday, I want to hug that guy. And, you know, as, much, as crazy as that sounds... He just said, this playoff hockey, you know, we got to stop being soft. We, you know, we got to, you know, the, the, it, go watch that interview. I thought for a coach 
like Tampa Bay, um, you know, much so much respect now for not that I never had it before, but after watching that interview, um, just man, I just thought it was such a great answer that he gave at his press conference and seeing his passion and realizing that you know, NHL hockey it's physical, it's brutal sometimes, and it's that's why people love hockey in the playoffs because it, it when you get involved emotionally into the games of hockey during playoff time and you're all in sometimes you're saying you're just you're um you're saying things that you probably would never say but it's the emotions of the game of hockey in the playoffs it's unbelievable and if you go watch that um go watch that interview with john cooper it's really it was really a good interview and a lot of respect for john cooper after that not that I, again not that i didn't have it last year but he's such a quiet guy that you didn't really um expect that answer yesterday so Good on the Lightning. I had the Panthers winning the Stanley Cup, and I said it before, and I'll say it again. Whoever wins that series wins the Stanley Cup, and right now Tampa Bay looks like the best team in hockey. All right, there you have it. That's my rant today, the Ron Raymond rant on the NHL playoff. And, um, yeah, one last thing before I go. Take a look at all the goaltenders in each series, and then you wonder why uh, teams are behind. You know, Carolina, uh, you know, doing a good Nadeljevic. Sorry, I butchered that name pretty good, eh? Nadeljevic. Uh, Nadell, you know what, hang on. Yeah, I had a pretty good close there, Nadell Kovic. So he's doing a great job. Um, and Saros, you know what, Saros is doing a good job too. Colorado, uh, Grubauer doing a good job. Bennington, that's, you know, that's all you got to say. Um, you know, Washington, you know, Samsonov, uh, Anderson, uh, you know, you can go on there. Um, you know, Vanacek, he's, he's been injured. Um, unfortunately, that's, you know, that, that was the, right now, that's when you, if, if they lose the series, you can look back and say, you know what, that didn't help, that injury. And, uh, you know, in Edmonton, you know, Mike Smith just hasn't been there. Uh, Koskinen, you know, all year has uh, been shaky. And Hellebuck, he didn't look good at the end, but he's playing great. And you can see why these teams are going to advance. Uh, good goaltending, right? I always say sandpaper players and uh, tight players and uh, good goaltending will get you far in the playoffs. All right, that's enough for the rant. Hopefully you guys have yourself a great rest of your Sunday. As always, shop for value. Play those percentages. We'll see you back shortly with another Brim Report.